All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. Looking at the title and you're like, 22, what about the number 22? Uh, the day that this is going up is actually my birthday, June 8th. Uh, born in 94, which means that now I am 22. Well, not not really, because I was actually born at like 10.30 at night. So no, I'm not technically 22 yet, but it's my birthday. Uh, so if you guys want to go ahead and wish me happy birthday wishes, then uh, more power to you. Thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for all the support. I really do appreciate it. And uh, if you are still subscribed to Kakashi Kyle, you guys might remember him. He used to do Yu-Gi-Oh! related content, yu bell related content, but not as much anymore. I don't think he does that anymore. Um, it is also his birthday too. Not only did we, you know, both do yu bell but we also did uh, uh, share the same birthday as well. I believe he's like two or three years older than me though. So, but uh, yeah. Anyway, just because it's my birthday doesn't mean that we're going to stop the content. The content is going to continue to flow. We're going to get to Performer Pals. And it would be interesting if if it wasn't like Monkey Board and Skull Crab at Joker, you know? Like if it was not them, then I'd be like, oh yeah, cool. Look at these uh, Performer Pals. But now when it's literally just, you know, Skull Crab at Joker and shit, it's just like, eh. So, like, once per turn, you can discard a card, then target one face of a card, and you'll destroy it. But you're only supposed to be one, so... That's not, that's no good. Uh, I'll go ahead and play the Lark, because I need to get deeper into my deck. Uh, that's not what I really wanted. Well, I guess I can go ahead and banish you, and then I can go ahead and, well, if I had something to pitch, I could probably just set you, set that, set this, and then go ahead and break his pendulum scales. Uh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one, because there is a lot of shit here. Like, there is no doubt about it that you know, the pendulum mechanic plus, you know, just the stupidness of monkey board plus skull card, the joker and all that shit. Like, like, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to activate this as soon as possible. Just say destroy a card. Target one face up card on the field. Wow, you are, you are not the greatest. I'll just go ahead and crack your scales. I have to banish that, so that's great. And Prince, sure, we'll go ahead and send you, send you. I got the Skull Servants mixed up. I was thinking that that was the one that uh, takes the Banish card, but it's it's all the same. You know, it's all the same. Actually, you know, I should have blew up his monsters because then he would have Pendulum summoned the back because he's going to Pendulum summon right now and hit him with the warning. Because I might actually end up dying. I mean, come on, it's Performer Pals. I mean, I just, I can't stand the Pendulum mechanic. I hate it so much. Like, I hate it so much. <laughs> All right, all right, I'm done. I'm done. All right, all right, awesome. Performer Pals, like, even even a deck like Performer Pals will kick the shit out of you because it's the Pendulum mechanic. So it really didn't matter anything. I should have popped these because he would just have. I didn't know he was gonna have more Pendulum scales, but I thought I'd maybe crack his Pendulum scales and maybe deal with his monsters later. But nope. So if I would have killed his monsters, then he would have Pendulum summoned and I would hit him with the warning. But it didn't matter anyway. He has like this thing that returns and then jump the shit out of me because of course I'm about to get jumped the shit out. So that's game. Awesome. GG. Gonna go bear back. And in good old fashion, uh, people being rude, of course. So I'm a knob. I'm a knob. Uh, that's not noob. Noob is with two O's. So uh, apparently, I'm noob. That you know, the least I can fucking spell. Like, come on, come on. <laughs> like, what? What? You return my card. You're gonna pen him summon. That's game. Like, there, there's no if ends buts about it. You won. GG. So, you know, to call, to go to the the sake of calling me a noob, like, yeah, you won. That's it. You win. <laughs> so. This isn't the greatest of hands. This is probably one of the worst of hands I've ever opened up with when it came to this deck. Like, damn, it's my birthday. Can you at least be a little bit nicer to me, YDO Pro? And people on YDO Pro? Like, nah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, well, that's not useful at all. Oh, that's actually, that's actually not bad. I might be able to do something with that, so. Go ahead, and if I discard, I can go ahead and increase my own level. I wish I could... Alright, I send you, you will send you and you, then I can use your effect, send Mizuki, and then go into Omega. I won't be able to attack this turn, but that's, that should be fine, because I wish I had, I would keep a zombie card, but I don't think I'll be able to keep a zombie card, but at least I'm deeper into my plays. I went from open up kind of eh, to open up like, alright, alright, can you only use this effect once per turn? Doesn't look like it. If I ever want to do that play and summon that back, I can maybe put some fives or sixes in here. I don't think I'm running any fives or sixes. Oh, there's a six. There's a six. 
go ahead and of course go into the good old fashioned Omega, because Omega's great. Oh, I guess I could activate Zombie World. Yeah, I can activate Zombie World and then become a zombie, and if there's something to threat my Omega, I could just use my this, but I'm not sure. I think I'll hold off. I'll hold off for now. So, yep. yep. Good old fashioned birthdays. I mean, I, I really appreciate all the birthday wishes, but I, I'd have to say, uh, one of my least favorite things when it comes to my birthday is having to say, I feel like I, you should say thank you to everyone. Everyone who wishes you a happy birthday, you should say thank you. You know, They're taking time out of their day to go ahead and wish you happy birthday wishes, and uh, maybe if you do it for the same for them, you know? Uh, especially with Facebook, I mean, holy crap, so many birthday wishes, so I gotta say thank you, thank you, thank you very much, thank you to everybody, calls and texts, my phone is on silent right now, like, I was like, my phone blowing up with, you know, friends and family and all that, uh, calling me to wish me a happy birthday, and, uh, so I had to put my phone on silent so I can go ahead and record, like I said, it doesn't matter if it's my birthday, it doesn't matter if it's Christmas or anything, I gotta, you know, keep my professionalism here, so, uh, Gonna go ahead and twin twisters my uh, nap, my sword. That's fine. Yeah, that's totally fine. So uh, we're gonna be seeing some uh, some nice uh, Luna lights. This should be interesting. I mean, ooh, fusion tag. Ah, oh, shit. All right. So all right. So if he activates Polly, then I can respond to that and then take the card out of his hand. Cause, all right. I think I might do that. Because I really don't want him to do something that I don't want him to do. So he did fusion tag, and he's gonna summon. He came Panther Dancer, right? And he's gonna summon this back, and then he's gonna poly with the monster in his hand, and then the monster he summoned back. So this is Panther Dancer plus the monster summoning back. No, no, he's freezing right now. Wow! And then he surrenders. Like, like, dude, I I have a you know turn to respond. I have time to wait, but I guess people just want to flat out and quit. <laughs> Like I was gonna go ahead and respond. He's gonna go ahead and flat out fusion right now, which I'm assuming would be—is it hand or field or graveyard or this turn you can fuse someone by banishing monsters from your from your field or graveyard. Hmm. But he didn't really have anything in his graveyard, so I guess it was just gonna be on the field, right? Which doesn't make any sense. Then once per turn you can fuse someone by banishing fusion monsters listed on it from your field or graveyard, because that's what it looks like he's about to activate his effect and go into like Leo Dancer. I was gonna go ahead and at least try to pick something out of his hand when he fused. Like I was getting Wolf mixed up with uh, Tiger to do the monster born in the graveyard. Hmm. I don't know. My pump quit anyway. Let's get another duel. Bear back. All right. Well, I've got another duel. So. Uh, if you guys go ahead and wish me birthday wishes in the comment section below, I, of course, I would be uh, inclined to reply and say thank you. And thank you, of course. Thank you guys for watching all the support. Like, I'm very I'm very sincere about everything on the channel. Like, you guys you guys are very supportive, and I thank you guys for everything that you give me. This hand is kind of shitty. Like, this hand is kind of the shitty. Like, <laughs> let's see what this guy does. This man's name is Yuto, so I'm assuming Phantom Knights? Wow. Wow, nothing? That's very surprising. I, said, I seriously thought you were gonna kick the living crap out of me. I thought maybe Phantom Knights or something. Like, no, I don't wanna fuck up my own card. Uh, there's really nothing I want to do. I mean, Castell, Dweller, no. I don't really got anything. Not any tuners or anything. I could summon another Mizuki and poke poke. I mean, the more damage I get, the better. So. But, hmm. I mean, maybe. I'm worried, I want to set this, because it's a really great card to set, but then I'm worried about getting hit with Twin Twister. Like, I feel like he's kind of holding off, but then he'll go Twin Twister, blow up these two, and whoop my ass. So, I guess we'll find out. But really, the only thing you can do is just, you know, play like you want to. So, if I get fucked over by Twin Twister, and then he proceeds to kick my shit, and then that's just what happens, right? But maybe I'll have the back row to stop him? I don't know. Pendulum Call. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Can't stand the Pendulum Call. I wish this card was hit to one. Like, I'm so upset this card's not hit to one in TCG because this card's disgusting. Like, one of my friends in uh, real life plays the Pendulum Magicians, and holy fucking shit. It's just like, alright, Pendulum Call, yep. So, go ahead. And, and Iris. So, I, just, you know, Iris plus Pendulum Call plus fucking just the greatness. Like, I'm not the warning that. Like, I can't have you doing that to me. Like, wow. Well, if I would have known this, I probably would have took it. Not that it opened up well or anything. Oh, and Regeki. Alright, so. Then go ahead and set up your Pendum Scales, jump the shit out of me, and I guess that's game, because that's, that, that's, that's, that's the right now. Not that my hand is good or anything, like, I, I got nothing, so. 
so. Chaos Hunter. Alright, so. Uh, your opponent is really much just card because your opponent cannot play cards. Oh, wow. That, that's great, so. I cannot freaking, uh. Oh, you're pumping your monster. I have to say, well, I can't use my Mizuki. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> but no, no, he blew up his Chaos Hunter. Okay. And then he quits! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I can't get a good duel for you guys, I apologize. We are back again. Alright. Holy crap. <laughs> I can't get a good duel for you guys. I feel so bad. I feel like freaking shit. <laughs> Alright, well, we got the, the right print, so we can go ahead and do the classic play that's like, if you don't open up with Sage, because it's so good. Like, I actually kind of like this play in Skull Servants. Kind of like this play. Uh, so, no, not that play. Then we'll go ahead and activate in a zombie again. Go ahead and send that Mizuki. Oh, I got that, uh, that zombie world, so that's nice. But then we'll go ahead and activate Mizuki, and then we'll go ahead and summon Lady in the White. And then go into Omega. So, then you don't open up the Sage play, and you open up with that. I mean, that's pretty powerful. That's a play that you could really only do in Skull Servants. So, just go ahead and end it like that. Uh, pull, I mean, no, not Pulse. Dex edition. The Pulse will be tomorrow. Interesting to see that. But from birthday, you're like probably like, hey, Daniel, what's your planning? Nothing. <laughs> I got homework to do. Uh, I got videos to record. Just really just the usual. Like, really nothing outside of the norm. It's just another day. Like, it's just Wednesday. It's the, sure, it's my birthday, but it's just Wednesday. Uh, mom, Mom's going a little bit out, out of her way, you know. Uh, actually went out last night with friends Tuesday night came home there was a big old banner on the house saying happy birthday neighbors are all like oh happy birthday whoever uh, birthday it is embarrassing me you know I walk inside there's another banner that says happy birthday so that's just like okay um, oh wow oh, all right might get the shit kicked out of me right now like well, I guess we'll find out but since that trick clown banished those two for another light pulsar holy shit Holy shit. So, these two will become something. I know these two have become something. 101 Castell. No. No, that became Beyond Hope. So, I'm going to go ahead and drop my ass to zero. So, uh, this card says all your monsters, your opponent, your current look at trolls become zero. I think I'll go ahead and hop out of the way and pick something out of your hand. I don't think these two can kill me. I don't think there's any XC like that, rank 4 XC that can kill me. Or Synchro. Or Sync, sync 8 that can kill me. We'll find out, but I think it's better to go ahead and hop out the way and keep my Omega for now. Because I should be able to handle his field uh, with the plays that I have remaining, you know. I got Zombie Master, so I can go and go Zombie Master, Pitch, get back, you know, Unizombie, put in the graveyard, decorate Zombie World, uh, Scar Right, like your whole field of special summon monsters. So, we should be okay. I mean, unless he goes, even if he goes Stardust, because I could just run over Stardust, and he's going to go for Abyss Dweller. Okay. That's fine. Abyss Dweller doesn't really scare me. I can handle this Dweller. Yeah. I can handle that. Especially with Zombie World. Like, I can handle that. Do you have any other effect? What's it about? What's the turn? Dash, can you home target? Do you have a key monster control when you tell people? No, no. Not relevant. Not relevant. <laughs> not relevant. Ooh, you're another Mizuki. That's fine. That's fine. So you're like, hey, you can't use Mizuki this turn. And I'm like, and? So. Might as well go ahead and use your effect now. I'm gonna go for Scar Right, what blow you up and then attack you, so. Let's go ahead and use my effect now. Oh, pitch give me that daddy though. I don't even think I saw any darks. Trick clown that like yeah. I don't think I even saw <laughs> any darks, so. It's good to know that you at least have daddy though. So we'll go ahead and summon a Unizombie in the grave. I guess I'll go ahead and get my Skull Servant place set up more. Because, I mean, I already have two freaking Mizukis. Like, come on. Like, I don't need to send another Mizuki, so... We'll go ahead and send another Prince. Oh, I guess I'm out of, uh... Oh, right, my effects can't out on the graveyard. That's right, that's right. They're still like... Yeah, still good, still good. Alright, we'll go ahead and go into Scar, right? Throw your shit up. So the only thing that you have... I know your whole hand now. Except for what you're going to be drawing. So blow you up, you take a thousand, go ahead and summon your trick clown, take another thousand, and I'll just remove your trick clown. It's all good. Uh, you have a right in, you have a dark arm, so it really comes down to what you top deck. Yeah. What you top deck is huge, because this, this, I mean, 
this could be the difference between winning and losing for you right now. Oh, yeah, at least that dollar stopped me from going off on your ass, but Dark Arm is gone. You got a right and you got something else. So I don't know what your other card in your hand is. Oh, and you milled a freaking Plague Spreader, too. Alright, so you probably use Plague Spreader, put that on top. Maybe go into, like, Coral Dragon? Oh, turn to your Black Dragon. So, go into an XE monster, I guess? Like, a Castell or something like that? Still not game. Still not game, so we're still good. Nope, sink. Sink it to your own Scar, right? Blow me up, and then hit me for 3,000, and then I lose. Alright. All right, I forgot Raiden was a tuner. Uh, that sucks. Wow. Wow. Just, wow. Nice top deck. 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 GG. God damn it. <laughs> Get another duel. Be right back. God damn it. He just had to draw that one card. If it was a monster that, like, a level 4 that would be normal summon, he already used his normal summon for Raiden, so nothing, you know? But... God damn it, he fucking drew into the monster that could be special something, go into his own scar, right? Hit me, and then of course I just didn't have enough life points, you know. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> That's all I have to say about this situation. That situation is just god damn it, Bobby. <laughs> and send Mizuki, increase my level, do the classic sage play. God. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's your birthday, bitch, you're still gonna get your ass beating Yu-Gi-Oh! Ask her if they give a shit. That's <laughs> uh, fine. <laughs> Um, uh, think about playing Alert, like, I can just go ahead and put it back with White Mare, so, my Skull Servant. Go ahead and draw it up. Ooh, Drum Drum Twisters, that's nice, so, let's get rid of that. And then, like I said, I can put it back, but I think I'll hold on to the cards in my hand for right now. Because I might want to go ahead and pitch them for Twin Twister, so, we'll find out. Let's turn. I mean, shit, for goodness sakes, I could put it back in the graveyard with Omega if I wanted to, depending on what cards we banished. How many cards we banished? Yeah, just go ahead and make it, put it back. I learned it, put it back. But no, nah, I'm ready to put Mizuki back right now. It looks like I might want to Twin Twisters, because there's a nice chunk of back row. If you're not going to do anything, then I guess I'll just go ahead and do it. Like, oh, it's Blue Eyes. Ooh, then I guess you can open up too hot. You snap back into main phase one, so if there's anything you want to do, again, not since my Omega's out of the way, but if you're just going to end, I kind of want to just you know, look in your hand and be like, hmm, what are you playing? Because I'm just going to come back next time like this, so. <sighs> Anyway, I'm um, pretty much trying to make my birthday extraordinary. I'm not really looking for gifts. Like, that's not that's not important. Renny wants me to get wants to give me a nice extraordinary gift, but you know I'm not I'm not too into gifts. I'm freaking 22. Who cares? You know, I'm not a kid. Uh, but uh, what am I trying to say? Um, she like got me my favorite juice. She. Made me breakfast, she's gonna make me banana pudding. Banana pudding, banana pudding pudding. You make me fucking banana pudding pudding, then, you know, then let's go. You know, that's exactly how I feel when it comes to that. <laughs> banana motherfucking pudding. Ah, <laughs> uh, what the funny thing is, I could Black Rose him. Like, I could I could straight up just go Norden, summon Unizombie, Black Rose his ass, and then hop out the way with Omega and blow up all his set cards. I think that's a pretty good idea, actually, because Norden, Norden's just so fucking good. Like, fuck it. And if he uses one of his back rows, then I can just twin twister the others. I and mean, it's not very often you get the twin twisters or hit the back row blue eyes. I don't run too much back row, so. You know? So if he stop my black rows, then I not only do I still have a normal summon, which of course means I still have some fucking plays, but, uh, but then I can just make you uh, eat a fat dick with my twin twisters. So, so we're still good. We're still good, so I'm gonna go Insta Fusion Norden, Norden summon unit zombie, not use my effect. I guess I could use my effect, but I think my effects are negated, but I think it's a condition, so I probably won't even touch it. So we'll go ahead and summon Norden. Yes to Norden. I said, you can stop me if you want to, or you cannot. The choice is yours. Like you you've got some back row. So you hit me with one back row, I'm going to twin twist with the other two. And if you don't hit me with back row, then I'm going to black rows you, and then <laughs> and then continue my play. It's like... So let's synchro summon into black rows. Yes. And Omega Chain. So go ahead. I mean, it's all the same. You're about to get your shit wiped. Wow, Starlight motherfucking road. Starlight motherfucking road. Wow, didn't see that coming. So I think I'll go ahead and pitch you. I'll pop the other two. Fuck it. You're gonna summon Stardust, the Starlight Road? Fuck it. I'll pop the other two. You don't need your back row, because I'm gonna run over that Stardust with my Omega. Because now you're gonna negate my Black Rose. 
Blue Eyes Silent Swordsman? That's what it looks like. Oh, that's fine. Oh, is it? I can't remember. I mean, Blue Eyes Silent Swordsman. Blue Eyes Bust Glare. Alright. I won't have a dragon on the field for a lot longer. But yeah, now you're freaking 31, so that's great. So I think I'll go ahead and run over to Stardust. Yeah, run over to Stardust. Then use a Mega Effect in main phase two. Hop out the way and then go for Scar right in main phase two with uh, with like a Mizuki and a Unizombie. You know, I can go Mizuki, summon Unizombie, Unizombie effect, send his Mizuki, Mizuki. Some, do I have any level fours? I, mean, I still have another Sage, so. Yep, so that's exactly what I'll go ahead and do. Because, wow. <laughs> that didn't go down exactly how I wanted. Like I said, with how often you get to go ahead and wipe the back row of, uh... Oh, Vanities too? Damn, you should have Vanities me. But I guess you didn't want to lock yourself out of special summoning. So, I will go ahead. And I might as well go ahead and activate my effect now. It really doesn't matter. It only sucks that I'm not going to be able to put my Mizukis back for right now. But I need to hop out the way because I'm going to Scar right and blow you up because you are special summoned. Like, I know how to play, I know how to play your game. Pick Dr. Blue Eyes again. Like, I guess you don't need your blue eyes. So. I have a normal summon this turn, have I? No, I haven't. Duh. So I didn't even really need to do that. I didn't even need to waste my Mizuki like that. It's fine, it's fine. We should still be in control of the duel. So, we'll go ahead and send to increase my own level. Go into Scar right and blow your ass up. <clears throat> Fuck it, you special summon from the deck. And I don't believe I've seen any of your your uh, dragon. Is it like a Buster Blader plus a dragon, or is it Buster Buster Blader plus something? Is it one of his tuners monsters, or I think it's just a Buster Blader plus a dragon. Yeah, it's Buster Blader plus a dragon, so he can do this. Ugh, that's gross. Uh, and he'll be how many dragons are in my graveyard? Or on the field, and of course I got that black rose, so he'll probably be able to fuck me up. Like, hmm, hmm. I'm going to moonlight next turn and bounce his ass. Oh wait, that's a dragon! Oh my god. Oh shit, he might actually have me. Cause ah, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't increase my level. Maybe I should just win the moonlight and bounce him. But I think he, I think he, when he hits the field, I'm negated. So I don't think it really matters. Yeah, like I. Uh, I don't think it matters, because I'm going into dragons right now, like, I totally forgot about that fucking shit, like, Buster Blader, like, god damn, like, all my synchros are dragons. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even look at the time, didn't even look at the time, wow. God, I hit that time limit, I wasn't even paying attention, that's why he's saying GG, I was thinking that he was just saying GG, I probably maybe could've went to Castell and spun him, oh yeah, Castell, Castell, spin him back to the hand, then he's not in the graveyard, yep, Castell, would've went into Castell, as soon as I saw it, I was like, Castell, like, but ran out of time, because fucking time limit. Just like, GG, like, not really, I ran out of time. I'm still doing plays, but of course, why do Pro and Death Pro feel like they gotta put the fucking time system? I hate the time system so much. Like, I got 40 minutes in fucking regular time tournament play. Like, don't fucking rush me, I'm doing plays. I'll get one more duel, be right back. All right, this will probably be the last duel. I got other shit to do today. I'm on my birthday, because despite my birthday, I'm still busy. I said go second, didn't I? God damn it, I should've went first. Not that my hand is really going first material, I kind of open up kind of shitty, but, ooh, and it's Evil Swarm too? Like, ugh. If it is Evil Swarm. Ah, you set the perfect amount to go ahead and get hit with my fucking, uh, uh, this. There are those two for me. So good. Like, you can't set two in this fucking game anymore. You cannot set two in Yu-Gi-Oh. Because you will get fucked up. Like, it's just, it's kind of sad, as it, but it's the truth. It's the truth. You cannot set two. You set two, you're getting fucked. You're getting fucked. And pop those two cards for me. Sorry, you set two. Twin Twisters. What you gonna do? Is it MST and a bottomless, I think? Yeah. Alright, so. And summon you. I don't think I have any, like, Sync 5s or anything like that, though. I got a Sync 6, but I don't think I got a Sync 5. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna get much use out of my, uh, my Unizombie and stuff like that. And, and uh. Even if I do Zombie World. Uh, even if I, I can go Mizuki, 
I can summon that back. I'm level four, but I don't think I have any fives. I could piss something from my hand and go up to a six and then do my revival dragon. And, but that's not great either. I should probably tweak the extra deck and put some more shit in there. But this, this is not the greatest of plays. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I can go ahead and do Mizuki summon back my skull, my fucking skull servant, and sink five, but I don't have any five. Five might be pretty decent right now. Go into our maybes and run his ass all over, and he can't even activate anything. Plus, I'm not going to activate anything. I'm just going to attack over your ass, but I, I think my only five, I'm not running fives, but this is, no, this is five, this is five, but, you know, look at that, at 26 booty. Like, really, really? I think I'd rather just take it a little bit slower. Probably get hit with Twin Twister myself, maybe. Maybe, baby. We'll, we'll find out. You gonna summon and go into Ophion? Lock me out of, lock me out of my track? Hopefully I don't get hit with Twin If I get hit with Twin Twister and then Ophion, then that's game. Like, there, there's just probably no way. Possibly no way. Yeah, that's fine. Up my strike. Two, twin, two MSCs. Quasting my one Twin Twister, right? So I guess I'll go ahead and hit you with this, cause you're about to make Ophion, and then if you make Ophion, then fuck me. You can go ahead and hop out the way with uh, with Thunderbird, though. So that's fine. Well, pulling all the materials I can away from you is the best I can do right now. Just no Ophion, no Ophion. <laughs> Another Mizuki. That's fine. Uh. I can go ahead and go Unizombie, Unizombie, send whatever, then use my Mizuki to survive that monster as long as it's like a level 4 or something. Uh, is there any monster that can really hinder him during. I think just Omega. I think I'll go ahead and play Zombie World. That way everybody's a zombie, which means that I can attack. And then when I just bust out that Omega, and then he won't be able to do shit. Like, I'll, I'll see when he, has to, when he plays that Thunderbird, but he might not be able to do shit, you know? Especially if I go into Omega, like, what the fuck will he do against Omega, right? So, go ahead and... Oh, wait, I need to do both effects. Because I just used my one Mizuki to summon, but I need to use this to send Mizuki, because I don't have anything in my graveyard that's level 4, so I need to do my effect twice. So I need to do my discarding effect. Uh, like I said, it really doesn't matter. Go ahead and increase your level. So I can pitch the Mizuki in my hand, then I'll use my Unizombie effect to send from the deck to the graveyard, send like Sage, then use the Mizuki revive, revive my Sage. Okay, then use my other effect. Go ahead and send Sage. Then pretty much you have to activate your effect on the activation of my Mizuki, because if you don't, I'm gonna sink and run your ass over. So, Thunderbird now. Because if not, then, of course, I'm doing an Inherent Summon, there's nothing to change to that, I'm not activating anything, there you go, there you go. So yeah, you gotta do your Thunderbird now. If you don't do your Thunderbird now, you're gonna get fucked, so. I'm gonna go ahead and go into Omega. Of course, we will attack, because I can. That was smart. That was smart on his part that he uh, he did the Thunderbird at the correct time. Because he knew that I was going to summon. That's a law of sync. It's inherent. Nothing's activating. Run your Thunderbird over. So, you get to keep your Thunderbird for another day. So, you're still just running out of, out of resources, though. Wow, well, of course, I'm playing zombies. So, I got my zombie world. I got the Mizuki. So, we're nice and set up. So, you can go into, um, you can go into like, your evil. You can go into, like, Ophion. That's fine, but. You know, what's that gonna do? 101 Castella can hop out the way, so. Kinda wondering what you're going to do. Because Ophion can't run me over. Oh, you're gonna set a card. I didn't, uh, of course I didn't know. I didn't know that you had a card to set, so. Now you can go into 101 or Castella or Dark Rebellion or one of them cards and fuck up my me Mega because you had no cards in your hand. That was smart. That was smart. This man's smart. This man is smart. The only problem is you're running out of resources. Yeah, go into your Dark Rebellion. So it really comes down to your set card because I could still fuck you up next turn. That was smart. That was smart. 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 Smart plays. Smart plays. Smart plays. So is that set card something to fuck me up or what? Wow, I'm doing the freaking. Uh, Zombie Master, that's, like, that's not what I need right now. So, smart play stuff. 
then go Mizuki, summon back Unizombie, then Unizombie send in on Mizuki, probably go into like a Scar Rite or something. So, let's go ahead and see if that set card that he drew is actually something to really fuck me up, or is it just a bluff? Okay, so find out. It might just be a bluff. Okay, one more Mizuki, some Mizuki, now we'll go four, go ahead and Mizuki, go ahead and Sage, I'm gonna go ahead and go into Scar right, blow your ass up, hit you directly, like... That, that was smart, but you're still just kind of running out of resources. Find out. If it's something to fuck me, then fuck me, you know. Right, you have higher attack than me. Yep, yep, I completely forgot. It's not fucking, uh, shit. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. My bad. My bad. I forgot. He's, it's only attack less than. I'm thinking of Hot Red, not Scar Right. Alright. I think I like Hot Red better than Scar Right. Uh, I forgot it was. I, for, I forgot it was attack less than or. Yeah, I like hot better. God damn it. This <laughs> fucking scar. Fucking scar. So that was great, and I think I used up all my fucking Mizukis, so. That's awesome. Yeah, I'll go. So next turn I'll go ahead and draw into hopefully a monster can go ahead and use my my uh, zombie master. But he's just one card deeper into getting plays. Like, God damn it. God damn it, that was dumb on my part. And more background, great. <sighs> Alright, I think I may be fucked. I may be fucked. Especially the background. Sage is nice and all, but they ain't gonna do shit for me. Should've went into like Bills or something. Like Bills is like the only card I can really think of to handle this situation all rightly. Uh, Bills can crash. I'm going to Black Rose, but then we both be top decking at that point. I can, I can, I guess I can get my Skull Servant set up. My Skull Servant place set up. Black Rose and him would be terrible, but I don't think I need to go to that stream. Hopefully not. Moonlight. I don't think he'll be doing that. Black Rose wipe my field. I think Beals, but I don't trust his sets. Yeah. I kind of feel like maybe we should just do a top deck off, but I'm really, I'm out of Mizuki's, like, and I have a no way of making another, I pretty much have to draw into a zombie master and draw into something else. Like, no, that's, that's not smart. That's not smart. We'll go ahead and send, uh, Prince. Ugh, I don't like this duel. <laughs> I don't like this duel. I feel like I'm fucking up and I'm not liking it. So you can summon a King of the Skull Servants by banishing it, banishing two Skull Servants and this card. Holy crap. So that would pretty much mean that he would be only like, what, 1,000 attack? Like, awesome. Uh, I'm gonna have to go into Beals and try to crash. At least go up to uh, 39. Yeah, I said, I'm including that he would have some set cards. Yep, yep, drew him to a set card, like I said. Like I said, I fucked myself. I fucked myself good. Like, of course. Of course, you, that's what you grew into. So. God fucking damn it. Like, wow, I fucked up bad. If I would have just realized that and had hot red, I would have wiped him and then I had to worry about that. Instead, I got fucked because he's like, draw, suck, void trap hole. Like, fucking course. Fucking course. Get the zombie master back. Like, I think that's, I think that's gonna be game. Like, I think you got it. I don't think there's anything left in here for me. I think you got it, I think you got it, I think you got it because of that top deck. Yep, yep, top deck, that top deck. Oh, I hate luck in Yu-Gi-Oh! God damn it! Like, wow. Wow. Fucking... Should just went in the bills. He just top decked that fucking Void Trap hole. Like, of course he did. Of course he did. Like, I'm kind of wondering what this set card is. I might pause and look at the replay and see what this set card is. Because, mm, Alright, bear back. Okay. Alright, it was a dark hole, so... Still probably would have been able to fuck me, but just like, wow, like, of course he draws into the void trap hole to fuck my bills. Like, bills? 
What the fuck would Dark Hold done? Nothing. Nothing. So I would have summoned Beals and crashed with his uh, his, his Dark Rebellion and went up to 39, right? Dark, Dark Hold still wouldn't have done nothing. You know? He would have then drew into... Like, the Void Trap Hold wouldn't have done shit to me, right? Like, it's interesting that it's Void Trap Hold. Like, not bottomless, not anything. Like, it's just good. You know, continue. Continue. You know? He would have drew into his caster. That wouldn't have done shit to me. Like, that set was just so smart, because... Fuck me, you know. Like hot red, hot red would have just wiped him, you know, so I wouldn't have to worry about this. Fucking dark hole would have just, sure dark hole me, but at least I would have not been dead. So this is where I fuck up because I wanted to fucking scar right instead of fucking that. Yep, and you see, dra draws right into fucking void trap hole, like that top deck though, that fucking top deck though. Like how many times am I gonna fucking lose a duel in this fucking video because of fucking luck and top decking? So I was like, goddamn. Of course, of course it's Void Trap Hole. Of course it is. Of course it fucking is. See, he wouldn't he wouldn't have driven shit. Caster, nah. Fucking this card, nah. So, yep. Then drew into the caster to attack me for game. Yep. Not that I would have anything left for next turn. But just like wow. It's like wow! Not even on my birthday can I get lucky, people. It doesn't even matter. Not even my birthday. Don't get lucky. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. So like I said, uh deck suggestions will still be going up. Polls will be going up tomorrow, so uh, that means uh, we're going to put everything on the polls, including decks that are now uh, currently on Daily Duels. You want for another month, you guys can vote for that or a new thing, so we'll find out. So I hope that you guys enjoyed uh, this episode of Daily Duels. I apologize. Like, I completely forgot. I thought it would just destroy all special summon attack position monsters. But no, that's hot red. Scar is just monsters that are less in attack than it been, of course. Usually 3,000, you'd be good, but no. So. I think I'm liking Hot Red better than Scar right. Like, fuck me. That like, that fucked me good. That fucked me good in that top deck, though. That top deck. Like, wow. Wow. <laughs> I shouldn't have lost that duel, but I lost that duel because of luck. So, awesome. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll be playing them ABCs. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.